Hi there, Tom Romeo from PCS. I want to show you the new uh, kiosk app that we built for Traverse. This is targeted towards the Zebra CC600 and CC6000. Notice how it's landscaped and you would actually mount this thing in your file room. I'm demonstrating it on my phone because it is an Android app after all and uh, I'm going to show you how it interacts with Traverse. Also recognize that you know my phone is about five inches and the CC600 is also a five inch display. The CC6000 is a 10 inch display. So what we're about to do here is um, start using the Android app. Uh, I'm going to scan a badge and get started. So here we go. I've scanned uh, Marlene Vitali. Uh, it's a fictional person in my Traverse application. Notice also that I've selected all of Bruce Wayne's documents. Okay, so now I'm going to scan um, some of his um, files and then we're going to uh, check them out. So you notice how my check in and check out buttons became active once I scanned some items. And it's also set for Marlene. Now, I could choose a different user to check out to, but since that's my ID and I'm doing the checkout, I'm going to check them out to me. So I'm not going to edit that ID. I'm going to change the date of when it's due back. And that's a customizable field, by the way, in Traverse. And then click the checkout form button. Right, I'm not taking off prem, I'm just showing you how the slider works. And bam, they've been checked out. And then we're going to refresh uh, the, the um, Traverse app and you see those two items have in fact been checked out. Um, notice also the little uh, gear with the wrench. That is a setup. Um, we're gonna get into that in a little bit. But you see now I've scanned those items again and this time I'm going to check them back in. Also notice that CB0002 location appeared. That is the default location of the kiosk. Remember, the kiosk is a fixed mounted piece of hardware in your file room, and that happens to be the location where it resides. And I'm going to demonstrate that uh, shortly when I click on that uh, wrench with the gear. So, um, and you see how we've also got some transactions that are turned off. Notice also that my session time is set for 20 minutes. That means if I scan my badge and log in, after 20 minutes, it'll automatically log me out unless I click I'm done. If I set it to zero, however, like I'm doing now and save it, now it's automatically going to log me out right after I perform my transactions. So we'll demonstrate that. So I'm going to log in as someone else, this time Carol. Carol's actually a real person, uh, but as she's in my fictional world here, so uh, this doesn't affect her system at all. Uh, I just refreshed to show that the items were in fact checked back in. I scanned a brand new different item, check out, and now I'm going to pick my user. In this case, I'm going to put in a badge number, B with four, four fours, which happens to be Carol. And I'm not going to change the date. This time I'm taking it off-prem. And bam, it's been checked out to Carol. Notice now it says scan your badge. That means it automatically logged me out. That means the next person that comes in and wants to use this, they have to scan their badge. Also notice what I'm showing you up on the Traverse screen is that on-premises is false for that particular item. And that one item is checked out. So you see, this is very much like the mobile app that we've got, except it's really targeted towards this kind of kiosk application. Imagine you've got a kiosk like this at a library and you want to check out a book, or you're in a file room and you want to um, scan some items and then check them out, or bring some items back into the file room and check them in. Um, and what's really cool about these devices is, you know, they don't cost a, a whole lot. You know, you can get away with getting uh, these types of devices for about or less than what you'd pay for a laptop or a desktop computer. 
but they don't occupy a lot of real estate. And that is what's key about this whole thing. You've put it on the wall. It works with Wi-Fi. It works wired. Um, it's got power over Ethernet. So they're really easy to um, fit into any organization. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. So uh, thank you for your time. And um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can download all of our software from our website.